we're going to look for the start this next time around. The drivers look to check over the gauges and check over the tires for one final time before we look to send the field off. Car number 14, Bobby Powers being sent to the back of the pack again. That car being driven by Kevin Devis. Green flag looks to come out as car number 16 for Richard Bobby Brower. Looks to lead the field down to turn number one. Bruce Berry running second with car number 06. Back after a long absence with that entry, he's running second. Matt Kovalek running in the third position, then CJ Fry, Mark Zamalier, and Matt Sperry. Top three running nose to tail, but here comes the 6X to CJ Fry. As Fry looks to come to life, he looks to challenge rookie driver Matt Kovalek over at turn number three as Brower continues to set the pace of car number 16. Lap number two, now history this time around. C.J. Fry continues to maintain that third position after that side-by-side -side action. It is the order of the evening for the late model main. Danny Field trying to break his way into the top 10 with car number 18. He's working down low alongside the 29 and David Lane. Right in his back bumper, Tommy Goodrow in the 19 of Farmer Phil Rondo. That's Mark Atkinson, Larry Cody in the 28 of Russ LaJoy. Lap number four coming up this time around. It continues to be Richard Bobby Brower up front. Weber's tire wheel spots that great continues to set the pace. Bruce Berry a little loose through the turns. It looks as though a tire may be going down on Sperry's entry. That allows Matt Kovalev to pull up alongside challenge for second. C.J. Fry maintaining that fourth position with the 6X. Sends the 0-7 to Sperry and the 8 of Mark St. Hilaire. Well, challenge up in front. Bobby Brower bobbling in turn number one. That allowed the 0-6 of Bruce Beery to work on by. C.J. Fry now running second. Brower landed in the third position, now being challenged by Matt Kobaluk, car number 40. As Brower continues to drop off the pace, a little bump and go in the middle of the pack. Something's got to give over in turn number one. Is everybody able to stay pointing in the right direction? Field continues to bobble for position. Mark Atkinson and Larry Cody, the latest tangle in the middle of the pack. Out of turn number four, lap number seven being scored this time around as Bruce Berry continues to set the pace. Berry now being challenged by C.J. Fry. Berry able to close the door out of turn number two. Car number 40 for Matt Kobaluk. Now looking to challenge C.J. Fry for the second spot. Kobaluk challenging for second. David Blaine now up to fourth as Bobby Brower. Mark St. Hilaire, Tommy Goodrow. That's a 19 of Rondo, and it looks as though the 47 of Tommy Fox. The car trouble down the back stretch. Looks so it's a 28 of Russ LaJoy. LaJoy able to keep the car pointing in the right direction. Dale Holdridge going around with car number 82. He's got the car fired up as he continues on his way. Now LaJoy going around once again with car number 28. The left rear tire down of that automobile. LaJoy trying to get to the halfway mark. The green flag looks to return to the speedway. Bruce Berry and Matt Kovaluk up in row number one. At the line, Bruce Berry looks to lead the 29, David Blaine. Now Matt Kovalev looks to come back up to challenge for that runner-up position side by side through the turns. Halfway mark out, it's 10 down. 10 to go is David Blaine, able to hold his line. Blaine running that second spot. Matt Kovalev runs third as Mark St. Hilaire in the eight. Jerry Young in trouble with car number 33. We didn't see what happened. Looks so he had some contact with either the wall or another car out on the speedway. As Young looks to lift the 33 around the apron. Bruce Berry with about three car length advantage over the second place runner of Matt Kovalev. Kovalev back up to second as he and David Blaine look to swap spots. Mark St. Hilaire now running in the fourth position. It's a black flag going out to Jerry Young. Rondo now up to the fifth spot. Then it's Atkinson, Tommy Goodrow, and the 16 of Bobby Brower. Well, now Jerry Young parks the 33 off the speedway. Car number 06 of Bruce Berry looks to appear at the speedway. Field looks to wind him up over in turn number three, out of turn number four. Green flag back out. As Bruce Berry looks to pick up where he left off with car number 06, a battle between David Blaine and the 40 of Matt Kobalov continues, but here comes another character to the lineup. It's car number 19 of Farmer Phil Rondo, now up to the fourth position. Now challenging for the third spot as he pulls up alongside Matt Kobalov. Looks so David Blaine may have a tire going bad in car number 29. The car was sparking through the turns. It's going to be a dangerous place for Blaine to let go with car number 29. Well, not the tires. The tires 
mid time because they checked the tires last time around. Bruce Berry's car also sparking through the turns. Five to go marker being displayed to the field this time around as David Blaine looks to challenge Bruce Berry. Berry high through the turn. David Blaine able to close on in through the turn. Big swap a little. Paints Berry up high. Blaine down low. Here comes farmer Phil Rondo. Three wide into turn number three. Rondo working down low. Blaine in the middle. Sperry up high with a 29 as Bruce Berry has the advantage at the line. David Blaine and Rondo hooked together momentarily out of turn number one. That allows Bruce Berry to continue on his way with the lead. Rondo continues to work down low with the Ford Thunderbird. Sperry up high with a 0-6 side by side at the line. Rondo looks to have the advantage in the turn number two as farmer Phil Rondo looking for a second feature victory of the season with car number 19. Two to go, Marker, going out to the field this time around. As now Tommy Goodrow looks to move in to kick off that second position. Tommy Fox now right there as well with car number 47. Bruce Berry back to the four spot. David Blaine running fifth. White flag due out this time around as Tommy Fox now moving into the runner-up position. Tommy Goodrow now running third. David Blaine running in the four spot side by side for the next spot line. That's Matt Kovalak and Bruce Berry. Checkered flag out this time around as side by side at the win. We're going to have to check with the Bush Racing Series scorers. I wouldn't want to be the judge of that finish. Number nine with the Larry's of Stony and sponsor Pontiac Grand Prix. 20 lap late model feature event. As the Larry's of Stonington, the Bob's Auto, Valente Auto Sale, Michael's Pools Power and Satellite Systems. Nine wins this season. You're the current point leader. It's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, normally it does. It feels really good. We're having a good night, you know, I guess, a first and a second. Sorry about all the commotion down here. I'd like to thank all my fans and my sponsors. You guys are great. I appreciate the cheers. You know, Tommy, you worked hard earlier tonight. You ended up with second place money. You come back to take a win here tonight. That's just a tune-up for next week. You've got nine wins. You've got about five more races to go. Hopefully a few more victories along the way as well. Yeah, we're going to try hard. That's, that's all we can do, you know, try and win on the track and try and make friends off the track. We'll do the best we can. You know, a lot of people don't understand on a grandstand. It's not quite as easy as it looks to turn left and go fast. The adrenaline gets flowing, things happen. Fortunately, you were able to find a way to victory lane once again, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's, that's what we shoot for during the week. We try to end up here. It seems to be working pretty good this year. Sometimes you have an off year, but we, we seem to have the combination this year.